there. And there's the line. This is the, well, there, there are the head-to-heads there. It's 8-7 to Aguiar. The world ranked number one against the world ranked number four. Former world champion Aguiar and the Olympic champion and former world champion uh, Kayla Harrison. So uh, it's all systems go. So this could just make it, uh, well, this is the 16th time that they fought each other in major competition. The referee in the middle for this one is Vladimir Lutsubidze of Georgia. And bear in mind as well that this could well be the Olympic final. You just never know which way it's going to go. What we did say, uh, because we're not going to sit on the uh, on the fence, uh, what we did say was that we thought that uh, maybe Harrison was just a little bit sharper today. Uh, let's see how it all unfolds. Harrison in white. Aguiar, she's in blue. She matters straight off the bat there from Aguiar. She has the sleeve, and Harrison attacks out of danger. Dominating that sleeve there. Yeah, that's what Harrison's got to be careful of, that she doesn't get outgripped. And, and by that, I mean not just, you know, technically, but speed-wise. You know, Aguiar tends to settle on the one grip once, she, once she's got it, but it's going to be a little bit careful uh, not to give up too strong a grip to Aguiar. You can see the strong grips there from Aguiar. She's got the sleeve and the uh, lapel hand absolutely almost virtually underneath the chin. Jimmy Pedro, a world champion and uh, two-time Olympic medalist. Two Olympics away from each other as well, that was. He's been the coach of uh, Kayla Harrison, him and his father, Big Jim, for some time now since she was uh, quite young and made a massive difference and uh, she owes them an awful lot. Yeah, a lot of stiff arms. Uh, we're just indicating to each other here that the uh, stiff arms, you've got to be a little bit careful with that. And uh, Aguiar pays the price for it. For all the bravado that the two of them have, that little accidental slap showed me that there's incredible respect because they both immediately went to, to each other oh sorry you know and if yeah. you if you don't like someone you don't care if you smack them in the mouth uh, yeah no no love lost oh, oh that, yes that, lovely that close. oh she gets a yuko for it yeah uh, oh, well beautiful opportune stuff there well i'm not so sure that that was harrison's i thought that uh, i thought that aguiar got the the counter Let's have a look at that. So it's got to be Aguiar's if it's anybody's or nobody's. So that's going to go to the video referee. Uh, the the counter from Aguiar, well, it uh, it stays with Harrison. So will you go up to Kayla Harrison? I think I would have given no score for any and uh, and just let it carry on. But uh, well, I'm not I'm not out there, but. <laughs> Now Harrison ahead. Single Yuko on the board. Agu Aguiar has picked up a single Shido with a little over a minute and a half to go. It's nicely balanced still. I think I'm not really going to start worrying about the, the Yuko right now. Well, she's having a look at the clock and hoping to waste some seconds there. Kayla Harrison for sure. That's a long way to go still. A minute thir uh, 35 uh, could be an hour and 35 minutes, <laughs> I tell you, when you're out the middle there, especially in this stadium. No air conditioning in this stadium. Only the wind. Now a question of how Aguiar reacts to going down by Yuko. Well, she'll have to dig deep. Minute 16 needs to attack. So does Harrison. She can't go defensive. Chance to attack in Niwaza now. This is just where Harrison would like to be. Running out the clock. Working on the arm. Trouble right. for Harrison here. Sorry, for Aguiar. She's Ooh, got the arm. Yeah. The arm is straight there. Now, is it going to stop it? It's Ippon. Oh. 
She's had to tap again. Not the first time. Well, she was straight onto the arm, wasn't she? And that was a great bit of Newaza there from Kayla Harrison. Took the head the other way, and we're going to have a look at the way she got into it there. And Aguiar was just that little bit too uh, uh, lax in Newaza. There's an interesting point here. I think that Aguiar indicates to the referee that she had already tapped. She was honest to say that, you know. Well, she definitely didn't argue the point anyway. Yeah. Not, not one little bit. <laughs> Happy? I think so. Two gold medals for the USA. Let's have a close look at when, when she does tap. Well, look at that. She's just so casual there. Left the arm almost, just you know, saying, well, just attack me. And then straight onto it, she pulled it through. And uh, I think it was uh, a yeah, verbal. She's nodding, isn't it's she? Verbal, yeah, because yeah. the, the, the hand was trapped. Yeah. Uh, so it was a verbal uh, I give in, and um, I'm submitting. Look how she changes direction. Just straight onto the head and uh, straightens that arm out. Great bit oh, of no, Inside, done. it's inside, so you can't see. Look, with the right hand. Just taps there. Well, great bit of Newaza there from Kayla Harrison. And now it's all evens as far as their head-to-heads going into the Olympic Games. Doesn't get much better than that. Wow. Well, two categories that have really lit this place up, eh? Doesn't get any better than that, really. Two great finals. I tell you what, though, Neil, that's soul-destroying, isn't it? Your, your biggest rival, and you get 